good afternoon, wood butchers. I'm kind of skipping a little bit of work here. Uh, I'm going to do some more tomorrow morning. Anyways, it's Friday afternoon, and wow, this is one heavy filled box. It says it's more than 50 pounds, but it's way more than 50 pounds. So I even had to have the uh, missus help me out, and the person at the uh, post office helped me get it into my vehicle. It's got a lot of heavy metal in there. I got some new boots. These are the uh, North Face boots. I'm going for the big old fashion uh, show here. So uh, basically up in Canada, it's getting cold. Out in the shop, I want to keep my feet warm and they have some cushion and good grip. So getting to and from the shop in the snow is going to be lots of fun. Don't make fun of my sh shoes, uh, please. Now, let's get this guy out and let's see what is causing all this gravity to happen inside this box. All right. So, if you don't know or haven't watched one of my recent shorts, this is the uh, Nexus 2x72 grinder. It's a Canadian company. They advertise it as the most cost effective uh, 2x72 grinder in Canada. Uh, so, I'm taking them on their word on that one. I've been looking around for this type of grinder for a long time. So, uh, yeah, they're out of uh, Raymond, Alberta. So, in total, Canadian funds, uh, this thing has set me back uh, $1,639.80 Canadian, including postage. Now, I got to say that the postage on this really wasn't that bad. I don't know. I, I, I have to say I was pretty happy about it. They even give you unboxing instructions. Talk about how to put it all together. You know, these guys actually uh, have a pretty good, uh, pretty good little uh, sort of outline of what to do here. Uh, that's that's nice, rather than just a sheet with a couple pictures on it and arrow pointing, say insert here. Well, what do you insert? I don't know. Uh, it gets confusing. So we have a little bit of a. Uh, foam there. Here's the platen. Wow, that thing's about 15 pounds for sure itself. All nicely flattened. Looks like it's been uh, maybe flame cut. I don't know. Really nice and solid looking down the side of it. Looks really flat. So let's go put this on the bench. Yeah, it's got a bit of a thump to it. Going through the layers here, we have more foam. Actually, I like this kind of foam. Sometimes you never know what you need to pack something with or support stuff with, so I'm glad it's just not one big sheet. And, oh, they don't scrimp on the foam. Ah, ha, ha. there we go, everybody. So, this is the Nexus. I think it's the NG3 grinder uh, base. So it's got one and a half or one and a quarter, uh, you know, spacing for tool posts and that type of thing. Um, has an aluminum uh, uh, area uh, guide block for the belt pulleys on the main platen. Um, wow. And I got a whole bunch of grinding belts as well. So I don't think you need me struggling on this. Um, I'm going to get this up on the bench and uh, we're going to see how it looks. Okay. So I had to, I had a great little uh, sort of uh, montage set up here and dang it, uh, microphone didn't work properly. So I'm hoping this one works better. So let's go through everything. I actually took some of it apart and put it all together. We'll make some uh, we'll make some leaps here. So starting with uh, the uh, grinding plate here, or, or the support plate, really nicely well done, nice and smooth. Um, the platen, I believe that's the correct term uh, that the belt slides on, 
it has this ceramic glass. It's supposed to be uh, more durable and allows the belt to slide with a lot of a uh, lot, lot of uh, sort of slick, low resistance. Seems really nice. These rollers, you know, uh, the bearings just feel fantastic. I can't stop rolling them. Uh, top and bottom look really good. This guy's held on by. Uh, up here in Canada, we call them a carriage bolt. It has like a little square uh, underneath the uh, the top there. And uh, some lock washers, and, or some lock nuts and some washers. So set up really nicely. This, so nicely machined. I just can't stop. Anyways, going over to here. So the whole mechanism has a uh, gas shock uh, attached to that looking really good the uh mechanism for the uh, controlling the tracking is fairly straightforward and it even looks like you could move it around a little bit if you want to adjust sort of the angles and everything uh but we have a crowned wheel uh to try and keep the belt as close in the middle as you can and then we have a little wheel here you're going to see it as i turn the wheel it adjusts sort of that uh, that pulley, so tracking looks fairly easy, and, and this is butter smooth. The neat thing about these handles are, it looks like it's welded metal. So I think they're identical on the outside, so probably plasma cut or something like that, um, with a, a hole for the, the screw on the first part all kind of welded together or something together. And on the outside, it has the hex for the head of the nut. So that's kind of neat. We have another one here, and I love the details they've done on this. Look at this, it's just a square nut. But when they welded it, they welded it into it really solid, so it's not gonna pop off, number one. And it just looks pretty darn cool. All the other welds look really nicely done. Powder coat is like butter. Um, it's all set up and designed really nicely. We got the uh, cutout here and mounting holes for the motor. Just in general, really nicely done. And heavy, heavy, solid. You know, this thing's, uh, if it has any vibration in it, I'll be surprised. You know, the more mass you have, the, the, the stronger it is, the less vibrations you get. But overall fit and finish, really nice. You know, you can kind of see where they had some cut and uh, ground here. You know, is it, does it look like a $3,000 grinder? No, but it looks like something that you're going to want to use and some really nice features. So I'm going to, uh, you know, set up the camera. We're going to unbox a few other things here. Look at the motor, the drive pulley, bit of this, bit of that. I like it. And oddly enough, if you look here, it only has two mounting holes. I'm wondering, if you want to tilt this, how would you do it? You know, uh, I looked at the Vashti grinders. They're a little bit more expensive. There was one local. Uh, it's still local here on uh, Kijiji, uh, Canada's Craigslist kind of thing. And uh, it'll tilt this way. It has like a hinge on the plate or whatever. The... What if the motor, maybe the motor has a mount that sits down so that helps to hold it and this just additionally secures it? I'll just find a sheet of plywood and we'll put it on this thing and maybe I'll just clamp it down onto this for the first little bit and see how it goes. All right, let me get the other stuff set up and uh, we'll go through that with you. All right, so let's open up the drive wheel box here. Again, everything's packaged so nicely. All right, there we go. We got some nice big uh, bolts to hold the motor on. I'm hoping I have a uh, Allen wrench about the right size, but we'll see. Look at that. They got foam on all the sides. Oh, oh, look at that. You can just about see your face in it. Let's peel this off here. So nicely machined. Like you can see like a couple little things, but those are just minor surface imperfections. Nicely dished. 
Oh boy. These guys make some really nice stuff. Okay, got that. Get some VSM belts going here. See what they look like. Well, they're grinder belts. So we got a whole selection where we have uh, 120 grit. Uh, these are all ceramic belts as well. So 80 grit, 80 grit, 36 grit. Yeah, so 36, 60, 36, 60, 80, and 120 grit. I think for wood for uh, metalworking, that's basically what all you're going to need. Uh, I'll, I'll play with these a little bit. My understanding is, uh, of watching, I don't know, 10 million uh, knife making and other things, once you've used uh, this on metal, you can use it on wood, it's fine. But if you use it on wood, don't go back to metal. I, I, I think it has something to do with the heat or somehow gumming up the, the grit or whatever. I don't know, but... Uh, you know, metal after metal and wood after metal, but never metal after wood. So, uh, let's put this to the side. Now, the motor. So, I contacted Nexus and asked the motor thoughts, and there's two thoughts. You go with a, a basically a single speed, um, single phase motor. Uh, you know, choose your horsepower, go with it, see what you do. Uh, then you can go with, you know, in between a one to a three hor two horsepower three phase motor and get a VFD, a variable frequency drive. And then you can vary the speed. They're not as efficient. So if you get a two horsepower, you're not going to get quite two horsepower out of it. Um, at this point in time, I just went with a single speed. I, I just couldn't justify the extra cost of the VFD. Although the three phase motors are, are a little bit cheaper than the single phase motors. Uh, in talking with the guys at Nexus, um, they just recommended one and a half horse. They said two horsepower, unless you're hog and metal lots, not worth it. Oh, so we have a box cushioned in a box. I don't know what these guys are up to. I'm used to the Amazon packages where, you know, you just have your item in there with one little, uh, you know, sandwich bag that was sort of half filled with air and... Things bouncing around, looking like they've been all beat the snot. Ooh, there's the motor. Okay. I'm going to have to turn you off, get all this done up. I'll put the motor on the bench, and then we'll look that over, too. Here's the motor. Again, this thing is... Everything I hear from these guys is heavy. I'm, I'm, I'm just so impressed. Uh, it's got a nice cap over the shaft. Um, key is already installed, which is, uh, is nice, and it's the right size. Oh, hold on a second. Let's very carefully have a look at this. Is this gonna, how's this gonna fit? Oh, that's a, I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't wanna get it screwed up. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Um, no, I didn't get any burrs on there. Okay, so nice fit on the shaft. Uh, key looks really good. Mach the face is really well machined as well. So this is their iron horse. Uh, it's a single phase induction motor. Don't know if you can see all the stuff there. Pause it. You can have a look at everything. It says it's 13 amps at uh, two, uh, 120 volts. Or I think, it's a, I think it's good for 240 as well. Oh, it depends on the hertz. Anyways, it comes wired for uh, 120. It's going to stay at 120. And uh, we'll go from there. Made in China, but looks really well nice. Uh, you know, stuff can be made in China and, and still be good. You know, it just depends which, uh, which factory you, you go from. This is where we're going to wire it into. Uh, I have some strain release. Um, I'll punch into one of the holes in the box here. I'll take this plate off and have a good look and figure out which way I'm going to wire it in. I'll... Uh, I was thinking of just um, running an extension cord to it and plugging it in, being it's turning it on, but I think I might actually wire in a, a little switch box with a good contactor. I think this thing's going to pull a little bit of current. I think it just a standard switch is a bit not good enough, so I'm going to have to research that uh, to get everything together. So, wow. 
I hope this helps you guys. Uh, this is fun for me. New tool time. Uh, it's going to be a little bit until I can kind of get this sorted out. i got to figure out the switch thing, uh, get an extension cord, and, and get this wiring set up. But if you're looking for a 2x72 grinder and you like shiny metal, uh, this Nexus grinder looks really good. Really, really good. I'm, I'm very impressed. You know, a nice set screw there to hold it, uh, hold the drive wheel on. Again, we'll just have to make sure we line it up nicely, but good stuff. Hey, if, uh, if you kind of want to see how this turns out and the final product, once I get it all put together, or the motor on and the switch and see how it works, you know, hit a little bit of a like and subscribe. And uh, the more likes and subscribes I get, the uh, faster I'll move my tuchus to get this done. The, uh, you know, if I don't get any likes and subscribes, I'll take my time and do things as we go. Uh, Termite is in uh, hockey tryouts right now, so we're going to be off to watch her uh, team uh, play and uh, cheer them on. Have a great uh, weekend, everybody, if I don't get anything else uh, done up. Otherwise, go out, make a mess, get some tools to make even more mess, and uh, we'll see you later.